Emily, what do you do? I'm a dermatology resident at Huntington Hospital. And you know what that means? Someone's skin's about to be softer than ever. <laughs> this is making me crazy. I know I know you from somewhere. Oh, uh, Howard was an astronaut. Maybe that's where you saw him. Wow, that's amazing. What was that like? <laughs> this is the most incredible experience of my life. Up there in the space station. You're oh my God, I remember. <laughs> Can I finish my astronaut story? <laughs> it was four years ago. Please don't say it. We were set up on a blind date. Please don't say it. You came to my apartment. You're saying it. <laughs> what, what happened? Oh, what happened? Okay, I'll say it. <clears throat> I was on the way to pick her up. My stomach felt a little funny. But when I got there, I asked if I could use her bathroom. Please don't say it. <laughs> One roll of toilet paper and 20 minutes later, I was so humiliated, I stuck out the window and never saw her again. You know what else I never saw again? My security deposit. <laughs> I'm sorry, I tried to unclog it, but you didn't have a plunger and water was spilling out everywhere. I just water. <laughs> Look, I have felt terrible about this for years, and I'm glad I have the opportunity to tell you just how sorry I am. It's fine. All my friends love this story. They call you Clogzilla. <laughs> Get it? Because you clogged up her bathroom like a radioactive monster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it. How are you? Well, hey, it's not like cotton candy comes out of you. <laughs> I feel so bad about lying to Sheldon. How am I going to make it up to him? I tell you what I do with Howard, but I don't think dressing up like a Catholic schoolgirl is going to work with Sheldon. <laughs> He'd probably give you homework. <laughs> Did you lie to Howard about tonight? Of course. And you don't feel guilty about it? Between Penny's gorilla movie and Howard's gorilla mother, I had no choice. <laughs> Thankfully, Penny and I have a relationship based on honesty. <laughs> what? I don't lie to her. Oh, we know you don't lie to her. <laughs> So, what did you think of your first funeral? Well, oh, I don't want to be a jerk, but it was kind of a bummer. Yeah, well, when I die, you can rent a bounce house. You think about dying? Mm. No, I think more about if I have any regrets. What would you regret? Mm. You know, that I didn't travel more, take more risks, learn another language. You know Klingon. That's true. No, I meant that as a regret. <laughs> Just thought of one more. What's up? I regret not saying yes when you asked me to marry you. Well, it just wasn't the right time. Yeah. And this is also not the right time. Do not propose. What? I know that face. That's your proposed face. What? I was not going to propose. It's already two to one. It's two to one. I proposed twice. You proposed once, two to one. Oh my, it's not a contest. I don't know what you're upset about. I'm the one who's losing. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Would you feel better if I proposed so you could turn me down again? Yeah, I think I would. Okay, Leonard, will you marry me? Hmm. <laughs> no, don't you dare. You reject me right now and tie things up. It's just such a big decision. I don't want to have any regrets. <laughs> I don't understand it. I'm a nice guy, I have a great job, well-educated, come from a good family. Why don't women want to be with me? That's an interesting question. Well, good night. <laughs> don't send me home. I can't be alone right now. That's your problem. You can't be alone. What do you mean? How many women have you had? dates with? Eleven. How many of those women did you think would become your perfect companion? Eleven. <laughs> Wait, do I count the 200-pound Sailor Moon girl that how did I had a threesome with at Comic-Con? <laughs> sure. 
I'll stick with Eleven. She liked Howard better. <laughs> well, now do you see the problem? Maybe. I, I don't know. It's late. I, I should, I should go. <sighs> Look, I, I do get what you're saying. Instead of desperately clinging to any woman who'll go out with me, I need to work on my fear of being alone. I was trying to suggest chemical castration, but... <laughs> it's my bedtime, so whatever gets you out the door. Good night. <laughs> Hey, Sheldon. What happened? I was cooking in the back room last night and the hot plate caught on fire. And you couldn't put it out. I was across the street at the do-it-yourself car wash taking a shower. <laughs> so when will you reopen? Um, I don't know. I'm waiting to hear back from the insurance company. So tomorrow? <laughs> I don't mean to be rude, Sheldon, but uh, my life is kind of falling apart right now. Your life? The university is making me do string theory. And my girlfriend loves me so much, she wants to live with me. <laughs> and now, the place I need to go when I'm sad is damp and smells funny. <laughs> oh, sorry I let you down. No, I do not accept this. Everything is changing and I hate it. It stops now. I'm helping you get back on your feet. I would like to purchase this comic book, please. It'll be $2.99. Really? It's soaking wet. Fine, a dollar. Can you break a 20? No, I only have hundreds. You know what? I don't always recognize sarcasm, but I do right now, and I don't appreciate it. I'm sorry for your loss, but you're not the only one whose day has been a disaster. Could have killed me. Can't catch a break. <laughs> Any word on my stolen items? We're doing everything we can. You know, Sherlock Holmes liked to use cocaine to sharpen his focus. <laughs> But I'm sure those Cool Ranch Doritos are doing the trick. Shelly. Oh, Leonard! Oh, I'm so happy to see you. Are you okay? Oh, I'm fine. Why did you come? What do you mean, why did I come? You're my boyfriend. I haven't seen you in over a month. I just drove six hours to help you out. Don't you have anything to say besides why did you come? I do, but... I feel uncomfortable saying it out loud in front of these police officers. Fine. Whisper it. Shotgun. Hey. Okay. Now that everyone's here, we can begin. Before we do, I just talked to Leonard. And if you're going to spend all your time trying to belittle me by making this class unnecessarily hard, then I'm out. But if you're interested in making a sincere effort to be a good teacher, then I'm willing to give this a shot. I suppose that's a fair request. There's no reason we both can't benefit from this experience. OK. Well, then, uh, first things first, um, are you familiar with the Brachistochrone problem? I am. Good. And how it relates to the calculus of variations? It's an inverted cycloid. It, wonderful. Now, uh, what about Euler-Lagrange theorems? That's where I'm a little fuzzy. Ha! I knew it! All right. Yeah. <laughs> we have a lot of information to cover before your first test, which, by the way, is in eight minutes. <laughs> the good news is I'm grading on a curve, so you're pretty much guaranteed a C. <laughs> What are you doing? Everybody's hands go up, and they say that. What are you doing? 
if you're gonna be a crappy teacher, then I'm gonna be a crappy student. Oh, oh, Ludacris going in on the verse because I've never been defeated and I won't stop now. Yeah, wait, now stop it! <laughs> this is a classroom. This is not American Bandstand. Okay. Now, where was I? Let's see. Oh, yes, over here. You... What are you doing now? Making a straw. Why? So I can shoot you with a spitball. <laughs> You're not going to do that, and I'll tell you why. This is an institution of higher learning. I am your professor, and you're going to treat me with the proper... Oh. <laughs> you shot your spit in my mouth! Is that gonna be on the test? Because I don't think I can do that again! <laughs> Too late for him to cancel? I think so. Heads up! Watch out! <laughs>